So you want to buy a new tablet but aren't sure which one to get. Well don't worry, we got you. While tablets don't get quite the same attention as smartphones or laptops, they've become an increasingly important category of devices for many families, especially with the recent shift to working and learning from home. Their straightforward designs make them easy to use, while improvements to Windows 11 and iPad OS allow many tablets to pull double duty as part-time productivity devices. But there are a lot of options on the market, and picking the right one isn't as always easy as it seems. So allow us to go over the most important factors you should consider, followed by our top picks across a range of categories and prices. Now which OS is right for you? Now before you even start looking at specific devices, consider how your new tablet will fit in with the gadgets you already own, and most importantly, how you plan to use it. For example, if everyone in your house uses Macs and iPhones, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to buy an Android tablet, even if you've been tempted by the massive 14.6-inch display on the new Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. This goes double for anyone with an extensive library of purchase videos or music that might not be as readily available after switching platforms. Another consideration is the kind of work you'll be doing. That's because while all modern tablets are more than capable of browsing websites or playing casual games, some operating systems like iPadOS and Windows 11 are better at multitasking and productivity than Android or even Chrome OS. And when it comes to software, while a lot of popular apps and games are available on both Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store, more specialized enterprise software may only have proper support on desktop platforms like Windows or Mac OS. Okay, so what size screen should I get? Trying to decide the size of your tablet is also related to the kind of work or play you intend to do. Larger displays make it much easier to view two apps side by side, with big screens also delivering a more immersive movie experience. But at the same time, the larger the tablet, the less likely you're going to want to move it around or lug it to work or school. That means you're not only going to want to take stock of your workspace, you know, if you have a desk or if you're planning to work from a couch or even your bed, which is totally okay, you're also going to want to think about how the device will fit into your routine or commute, assuming you have one. Finally, you'll want to consider any add-ons or accessories you're planning to use, which can range from detachable keyboards to things like external mics or a stylus. The good news is that many tablets nowadays offer some kind of keyboard accessory, which allows the device to function more like a two-in-one instead of simply being a content consumption device. Some tablets also feature things like microSD card slots that support additional storage, or optional 4G or 5G connectivity, which can be a real boon to frequent travelers. And if you're planning to use the tablet mainly for work, you might want to grab a USB hub for connecting all your favorite peripherals. Okay, now on to the picks. For our best tablet overall, our pick is the Apple iPad Pro. Powered by the same M1 chips you get in Apple's MacBooks, the iPad Pro is one of the fastest and most well-built tablets you can buy today. It's available in two sizes, 11 and 12.9 inches, and it works with a range of handy accessories including the Apple Pencil and the extremely useful Magic Keyboard. And thanks to their 120Hz ProMotion Mini LED displays, the iPad Pro screen boasts strong brightness and fluid visuals, regardless of whether you're watching a movie or creating a slideshow presentation. Recent versions of iPadOS have also made Apple's most premium tablet a much more capable work device, with the addition of new sidebars for quickly switching between apps, a more powerful desktop-like UI for Safari, and a bunch of new toolbars throughout. The main downside is that starting at $800 for a base 11-inch model with 128 gigs of storage, Apple's iPad Pros definitely aren't cheap. And that's before you tack on any extras like cellular connectivity or a keyboard. But considering there's a good chance a new iPad Pro is more powerful than your current laptop, there isn't really anything you can throw at Apple's top-of-the-line tablet it can't handle. One final note is that if you like the iPad Pro but want something a bit more affordable, there's also the 5th Gen iPad Air. You still get the same M1 chip, Apple Pencil support, and optional 5G connectivity. And with a 10.9 inch screen, it's basically the same size as the smallest iPad Pro too. The main difference is that the iPad Air's display isn't quite as bright and doesn't support a 120Hz refresh rate. But if you're okay with that, the 5th gen iPad Air is essentially an iPad Pro with a less fancy screen that starts at $600 instead of $800. Next, let's move on to the best Android tablet, which is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. Available in three sizes, an 11, 12.4, and a huge 14.6 inch model, Samsung's new Galaxy Tab S8 line has the right size screen for practically any need. And while Android typically isn't quite as accommodating to productivity as Windows or iPad OS, Samsung's Dex mode offers a desktop-like UI complete with multi-window support and a taskbar for potent multitasking. 
Samsung's mobile displays are also some of the best in the business, with support for 120Hz refresh rates and vibrant colors from their OLED panels. And unlike Samsung's flagship phone line, the Galaxy Tab S8 still comes with a micro SD card slot, though sadly, Samsung couldn't seem to find room for a dedicated headphone jack. That said, you do get a choice of three different covers, a simple folio, a keyboard cover, and a premium keyboard cover with a built-in touchpad, so you can choose the right accessory for your needs. When it comes to Windows tablets, the easy pick is Microsoft's Surface Pro 8. While most people think of Microsoft Surface Pros as a line of two-in-ones, because they don't come with a keyboard, you gotta purchase it separately, that technically makes them tablets. But don't be fooled, because thanks to Windows 11 and support for a range of 11th gen Intel processors, Microsoft Surface Pros are designed for productivity. New on the Surface Pro 8 is a beautiful display with a smooth 120Hz refresh rate and improved stereo speakers. With the inclusion of IR facial recognition camera that allows you to log into the system in a snap. Another nice bonus is that unlike a lot of tablets, the Surface Pro 8's SSD is user accessible, allowing you to upgrade its storage post-purchase whenever you want. And thanks to improvements in Windows 11, the Surface Pro 8 is way better suited to life as a tablet without ever needing to attach a keyboard, thanks to dynamic apps that get larger in tablet mode and improved touch-friendly controls. Okay, for people looking for something more affordable, our favorite budget tablet is the standard 10.2 inch Apple iPad. Look, if you just want a simple tablet for a reasonable price, it's hard to go wrong with the standard iPad. Starting at 329, the basic iPad has a 10.2 inch display with good brightness and a relatively speedy A13 Bionic chip. It's also the last iPad that still features an old school Touch ID home button. After being refreshed last year, the 9th gen iPad got updates including Apple Pencil support, improved cameras, and 64 gigs of storage, which is twice as much as before. And just like its more expensive siblings, the standard iPad is available in a Wi-Fi only model or with optional cellular connectivity. The basic iPad is also the cheapest device Apple sells that gives you full access to the App Store, which makes it a good multimedia device and a handy way of managing your media library across all of your other Apple devices. Finally, the best tablet for kids is the Amazon Fire HD 10 Kids Pro. Starting at $200, it's the cheapest tablet on this list, and unlike more adult-oriented fare, it comes with an included kid-proof case and a two-year warranty. Amazon says if your kid breaks the tablet, the company will replace it for free. Other useful add-ons include a free one-year subscription to Amazon Kids Plus, which unlocks more than 20,000 games, books, and apps, all designed for children. There's also a handy dashboard for parents that allows you to set things like time limits, content filters, and even educational goals. And even though it's three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of base storage aren't much, its 1080p display is plenty sharp, and it has a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. And if you want a slightly smaller and more affordable option, there's also the $140 Fire HD 8 Kids Pro 2.